Hey, welcome back. I'm from Exploring Excel. Myself, Amiyada Borkar. You can email me at exploringofficeexcel at the rate gmail dot com. This is video number two. Add or edit custom list. Normal method versus VBA method. Okay, let's move back to our sheet. Okay. Now, in today's uh, today's session. I am just going to show you application dot add custom list in VBA and what is custom list, how to add or edit the custom list. Basically, you must be aware that when you type the word Jan, it automat. Sorry, when you type the word Jan, it automat. When you drag it down, it automatically grabs the next. This grabs the next uh, month: February, March, April, May, June, July, and so on. A cool, cool feature about this is if you take any middle month, like suppose I'm taking a June, control B, and dragging it down, it will automatically find next month July and drag down. This is not only for the months; it is also for the days, like month. And month Monday, then if you drag it down, you again goes to Sunday, then again comes Monday. And also for the full day, Monday, M O N D A Y. So how does this happens? How does this happens? There's not much trick, but it is do the custom list in Excel. Four custom list like this are built in Excel. We cannot change that list. I will just show you in a moment. But where you can find a custom list? You will find a custom list in Office Ribbon Excel option popular toolbar, and then in Edit Custom List. Now, the custom list has benefited us a lot when you type a single word and all that things. But going to the Excel options, popular toolbar, going to the Edit Custom List, you can find all five custom list: S U N M O N T U E, Monday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All these are inbuilt custom list. You cannot delete another change. Sorry. Right. This is my extra added custom list. Now, how to add the custom list? Going to that Office Ribbon Excel option, popular toolbar, and then in Edit Custom List, I am selecting Import List from the cell. I will first create Import List from the cell. Going to a new entries. I am just going to select import list. Select in the new list. I am selecting the import list from cell. I am going to select names of employees and then import. Then add. Okay. The list is got added. I will select one middle name. Pre. P. R. I. Y. Three L. Okay. Let's see what happens. The next name is Robin. Then Stacy and all the text. So it's working fine. How to delete that list which I just now added? Going to the same place. Then we are selecting that list and pressing delete. Same thing with added the new list. Okay. But now the another method is VBA method. We be we are using a property known as application dot add custom list. You have to go to the developer tab, then go into the Visual Basics. How you can unlock the developer tab? In two thousand and seven, you have to go to the this Office Ribbon Excel option. Show developer toolbar. You take it or else in two thousand and ten or later version, you have to uh, click here. And customize the ribbon. Customize the ribbon will be shown. Okay. How to go to the Visual Basic Edit? Just press the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. Uh, the Visual Basic screen will be available. You can use the any one of these above code. Add and add to. How does it is work? First, it de determines a variable. Then List as variant. Okay, now you can see it clearly. I will just write and show you sub trial. I'm adding the same procedure. First, we de determine a variable dim a as suppose you want as variant. 
variable. We have to determine the variable variant, not VBA. Sorry, I'm next in the variant. V A R I A N T variant. And set. Then as <coughs> then A equals to application application now then uh, then after that we'll get the object explorer we'll just select that selection then then application then dot add add custom list and we list array is a now in this another method add sub to I have this used application on add custom list. I have not determined the variable, but instead I have directly written application dot selection. Instead of determining or determining the variable, I have just directly written. It is it makes the code easy, but it instead it does not looks neat or it does not shows a good rule of programming. So that's why you should always it's better to determine a variable. But uh, the technically speaking, the determining a variable is necessary for making a uh, perfectly use of the memory. As some type of memory uses um, one byte, two byte, four bytes, sixteen bytes, thirty-two bytes, integers, strings, and so on. It makes the work perfectly. Like uh, selecting an integer as a dim a as integer, means only num uh, integers will be allowed. It. Not the s things. Boolean is true or false, like that thing. Okay, so let's test. Add one. See now I'm showing you. This is a run. Will you run is f5, then f5, then f8 means uh, going debugging step by step. If I want to add this region, showing this, how I will add. I will press f8. This is this then dimming. F8, F8, F8. Okay. Now list has got added. F8, F8. Or instead, I can use F5 to complete an action very fast. Or else, I will also show you one more method. See, the north south is added. You can delete it from here. Okay. Instead, you can add a button here. Insert a button here. You can add. add Select this. And it will not work as you have not selected an object. You have to select it that list. Then it will work. Now just see. We are going to this. FL options. Wide review. All things are added. As I don't need it, I will just delete that list. Okay. Then rename this by going to the design mode. Name it add custom list. Okay. Sorry, some spelling mistake here. Edit, edit text. Add custom list. After design mode is over, when you select in one cell, it will. <coughs> it will just do like this that method add custom list of object application pen yeah. i will also show you a good method method for that that on error resume next like this i will just show you afterwards when when typing that code will do not show you like error message message like this but that's all for the day uh then wait So thanks for watching and please feel free to subscribe my videos. My YouTube channel is Exploring Excel. You can email me at exploringofficeexcel at gmail dot com. Watch more videos in Exploring Excel. Thanks for watching.